Good morning, friends. Miss Heather here. Okay, let's start off with our good morning song. Good morning, friends. Good morning, friends. Good morning, friends. I'm glad you're watching today. All right, before we get on with our story, let's say our church words. Here at Unitarian Church, we are people of open minds, loving hearts, and helping hands. Great job! This week, I have a book called The 512 Ants on Sullivan Street. And it's a scholastic book. I love scholastic. They come out with great books. Okay, let's get started with our story. And I chose this book this week because it's summertime. And when I see ants, I always think of summer. And picnics. I love picnics, don't you? This is the basket with goodies to eat that we picked for a pack picnic on Sullivan Street. This is one ant who carried a crumb, a crumb from the basket with goodies to eat that we packed for a picnic on Sullivan Street. These are two ants with some pieces of plum. They followed one ant who carried a crumb. A crumb from the basket with goodies to eat that we packed for a picnic on Sullivan Street. Now they got a crumb and two plums. There go four ants with a barbecued chip. They held it above them so they wouldn't shrimp. They trailed the two ants with some pieces of plum who followed the one ant who carried a crumb. A crumb from the basket with goodies to eat that we packed for a picnic on Sullivan Street. See how they got the barbecue chip up there? Here comes eight ants with a crisp bacon strip. They chased the four ants with a barbecue chip who trailed the two ants with some pieces of plum, who followed the one ant who carried a crumb, a crumb from the basket with goodies to eat that we packed for a picnic on Sullivan Street. Ooh, look at that crisp bacon they got. Now 16 ants took a hard boiled egg. They rolled it along with a kick from each leg. They followed eight ants with a crisp bacon strip who chased the four ants with a barbecue chip who trailed the two ants with some pieces of plum who followed one ant who carried a crumb a crumb from the basket with goodies to eat that we packed for a picnic on Sullivan Street. Then 32 ants hauled a wing and a leg. They trailed 16 ants with a hard-boiled egg. Oh, they're getting the chicken. Oh, no. Who followed eight ants with a crisp bacon strip? Who chased the four ants with a barbecued chip? Who trailed the two ants with pieces of plum? Who followed one ant who carried a crumb? A crumb from the basket with goodies to eat that we packed for a picnic on Sullivan Street. All those ants working very hard to carry each food. These 64 ants spied some takeout Chinese. They carried the white paper carton with ease. It took 64 to carry all that. But they're hard at work, working together to get it. They chased the 32 ants with a wing and a leg who trailed the 16 ants with a hard-boiled egg who followed the eight ants with a crisp bacon strip who chased the four ants with a barbecued chip who trailed the two ants with some pieces of plum who followed one ant who carried a crumb a crumb from the basket with goodies to eat that we packed for a picnic on Sullivan Street. Now 
Now, 128 ants grabbed some cheese and trailed the 64 ants with takeout cheese, the takeout Chinese. Wow, it took 128 ants to grab the big slice of cheese. Who chased the 32 with a wing and a leg? Who trailed the 16 with a hard boiled egg? Who followed eight ants with a crisp bacon strip? Who chased the four ants with a barbecue chip? Who trailed the two ants with some pieces of plum? Who followed one ant who carried a crumb? A crumb from the basket with goodies to eat. We packed for a picnic on Sullivan Street. There's the plums and the chip and the bacon and the crumb. Then, 256 ants yelled, Hooray! They spotted a fudge-covered cake on a tray. They pulled it and pushed it, but all that fudge made the cake too much heavy. It just wouldn't budge. Well, look at all those ants, and they tried and they tried, but it was so heavy. Taking the cake was such a big chore that those 256 doubled once more. Then 512 ants all ready to dine picked up the cake and got right in line. Took 512 ants. They followed the 128 ants with some cheese who trailed 64 ants with takeout Chinese, who chased 32 ants with a wing and a leg, who trailed 16 ants with a hard boiled egg, who followed eight ants with a crisp bacon strip, who chased the four ants with a barbecued chip, who trailed the two ants with a piece of plum, <clears throat> who followed one ant who carried a crumb, a crumb from the basket with goodies to eat that we packed for a picnic on Sullivan Street. By the time we were hungry and ready for lunch, our goodies were gone. There was nothing to munch. But the ants had a picnic with goodies to eat down in their hole, their ant hole on Sullivan Street. Oh, look, the girl's trying to say, where is it at? And look at that, they have their ant hole. And they have all that food down there. The cheese. Oh, and there's the piece of fudge cake and the egg. Wow. The 512 ants on Sullivan Street. And there's just the numbers. There's one and two and four and eight and 16, 32. 64, 128, 256, and 512. The end. Well, that was a good book. But now the family's all hungry. Next time if you go on a picnic, make sure you watch for little ants. Okay, you guys, I hope you're having a great summer. I miss you all so much, and I can't wait to get back to see you. Have a great week. Bye.